What is going on guys, welcome to a new video. So today then we're gonna be talking about when you can expect to see your first sale. It's been a question I've been getting asked quite a lot recently, so I thought I'd better do a video on the topic. So I've got some points then that I wanna go through on my phone just to make sure I don't leave anything out. But before I do that then, we're just gonna jump into my ad manager account quickly, just so I can show you then what those first few weeks look like for me when I started dropshipping myself a little bit over two years ago now. So that being said then guys, thank you for tuning in. That's the topic, I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get straight into it. What is going on there guys? So welcome to my ad manager account. Now I know it looks weird with where I've put myself on the screen, but I'm still pretty rubbish when it comes to video editing and I'm, I'm still not sure how to like block out certain sections of the screen. So I just thought I'd put myself there. But if you guys, in fact, if you know of any better video editing software, at the moment I'm just using iMovie. Um, so if you know of one that you can do that with, then make sure you let me know in the comment section below. So anyway, as you can see, then we're in my ad manager account. Um, and this was actually my very first day of advertising. And if we just look at the numbers, you can see I actually made an a sale on my very first day and just to prove it to you guys then um in fact i'll just refresh the page as well so you guys can see that it is legit i'm not trying to mislead anyone here and once this loads up you can see numbers are still the same dates the same so june 30th 2016 so i actually started drop shipping and advertising in facebook over two years ago now and if i just choose all the time before then you can see that my spend is zero so on my actual very first day um, I did. I was actually fortunate enough to make a sale. There's some points like I've mentioned in the intro that I'm gonna go through on my phone. Um, and one of those points just quickly is the fact that if you've got a good product and you put them in front of the right audience, it doesn't matter how matured your pixel is. It doesn't matter how expensive your product is. At the end of the day, the key is putting the right product in front of the right audience. Whether, you, whether somebody sees it, just because you've chosen say a PPE ad or whether you've chosen say add to cart as your optimized conversion and it doesn't matter. If somebody wants to buy your product, they'll buy your product. So June 30th then, um, I made my first sale on my very first day. And if we just have a look at kind of like the next couple of days, um, I haven't actually looked at this data, um, these numbers myself in a long, long time. And as you can see, I'd spent 30 pound, only returned 23 pound, so I wasn't making money. And if we just have a look at the rest of July, spent 400 pretty much. Um, and only saw 4.55 back, so I was still losing money. Um, and then if we look into August as well, I spent 530 and then made 1300 back. So that was actually my first profitable month. And I do document all of this. I do actually go into a lot more detail than I'm going to show you in this video. In If you look back at the very first two videos I uploaded on my YouTube channel, I'll go through the whole profit and loss and everything because back then I was keeping track of um, all my financials using an Excel spreadsheet as well. So I'll show you guys all of that. If you wanna see that, uh, make sure you go check the videos out. It's literally like the two very first two videos I uploaded on my channel. So as you can see, then they're the kind of results that I was able to do in my first couple of months. Um, I was speaking to a subscriber quite recently who was asking, um, he sent me loads and loads of different questions actually. Number one was like, can you still make money in 2019 doing drop shipping? Which the clear answer is 100% yes, you can. And then he was asking, along the lines of like how quickly can he expect to make money, which gave me the idea for this video. So what I'm gonna do now then, um, is just bring my phone back into the video and just go through these points and just one by one with you guys um, to hopefully help you out and hopefully kind of motivate you to stick with what you're doing. So point number one then guys, what I'm gonna do is kind of like go through the important points that I want you guys to know and actually consider. And then towards the end of the video, um, I'm gonna go into kind of more specifics and the numbers of everything. So the number one point I wanna make then is that Facebook ads now are so much more expensive than they were when I started over two years ago. Um, again, I've documented it in previous videos. I used to sell a product, um, I've got it somewhere around here. So this, this was actually the very first product I started selling and I was selling them at five pound a piece um, and still being able to get purchases low enough to make a profit on that. And even if I tried to do that today, I still don't think I would be able to accomplish purchases that cheaply just because Facebook has become so much more competitive um, and at the end of the day, more expensive. Facebook is a bidding platform. You kind of have to compare it to eBay in many ways that the more that somebody wants 
to advertise to the same audience as you or the more somebody wants to buy the same products you do on eBay, then the more expensive you're gonna have to pay for it. So when, it's kind of like a side note here, when people talk about certain niches being saturated, then I don't believe any niche is saturated in the way that people think it is. So there can never be enough people or too many people then selling within one space just because the world is such a huge place and the worldwide market, especially with dropshipping, you can sell to pretty much anyone in the world um, and there's just always gonna be enough people. But a, an audience then can be too competitive and they're two different things. Competitive and saturation is two completely different things, especially on Facebook, because like I said, the more people that wanna target the same audience that you do, the higher your CPM is gonna be and the more difficult you're gonna find it to, to sell those cheaper products especially. So first point then is Facebook ads are a lot more expensive. So that's definitely something you have to consider when selling, when trying to get away with selling products like this. Anything under 10 pounds, then I think you're gonna to struggle to be profitable. Number two then is upfront investment. As you saw there, I was able to make a sale on my very first day. Now I'm not saying that's not possible with Facebook today, it 100% is, but what I'm saying is it's gonna be more difficult because back then things were less competitive and because they were less competitive then there was less kind of money required upfront to mature your pixel. Whereas nowadays, Facebook requires a bit more investment up front and testing wise for Facebook to mature and find who your ideal customer is where it wasn't so much back then. So that's why it was easier in my opinion back then and now it just requires a bit more money to mature your pixel and ideally kind of focus down on the right audience. And that's why then when I speak about it in my videos, anybody with a small budget of say anything of less than $300 and I recommend starting with Instagram influencers. Make sure you always have your Facebook pixel installed as well because then people coming onto your store will be logged at the same time. And plus you can bring immediate people um, with Instagram influencers. You just get like a hit and wave of people whereas with Facebook you kind of have to build it up at the beginning because you've got no past data then you can spend a lot of money, waste a lot of money if you're not targeting the right audience, bring or showing your ad to people that aren't just gonna be interested in your product. Number three then is budget dependable. So depending on how quickly you can expect to see your first sale, it's gonna depend on how much money you wanna put into Facebook ads um, right at the very beginning. And anybody who's spoken to me then on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, then you'll know that when people ask me a lot of general questions and they usually say kind of like any tips for starting on Facebook and I could probably write a book about tips on Facebook but like the main tip I give beginners is just to start slow because Facebook can just be an endless money pit and I see it time and time again. People spending say five, ten dollars, maybe even like fifty dollars which is fine testing the product and seeing no results and then because they've spent that much and they've got maybe nearer to a result, like they've had a pretty good cost per click or they've had a couple of add to carts and they've decided just to say chuck $200 in. And before they know it, they've spent say three, four, even $500 on a product, testing the product to know pretty much the same thing that they knew after spending $50. So start slow, start on five pound per day. You saw again back then my ad manager account in month one, it was actually at the end of June, only one day, so I only spent about five pound. And then in month two, I only spent, say, I think it was like two, 300 pound. It weren't a lot more. So I started really, really slowly and make sure that when you're spending money on Facebook, you're learning. Facebook is giving you something back in return. So they're kind of like the main points and I want you guys to consider when you start running ads. Um, and kind of like to summarize the whole thing or getting kind of more specific even into the numbers. Um, in fact, we'll get into the numbers in a second. Another kind of general point goes back to what I mentioned earlier in the video, which is if you show your product to the right audience and it's the right product also, then you're going to make a sale. So whether you choose a PPE campaign, a traffic campaign, uh, or a WC campaign and you optimize for view contents or initi initiate checkouts or add to carts, regardless of what your objective of that campaign is, if you shoot, if you, choose the right product and show it to the right audience, somebody is going to buy it. So just keep that in mind when you're running your ads. 
I've mentioned it's the start slow, we've mentioned that. So going into specifics then, it's, it's really difficult to give you guys specific guidelines because everybody's selling different products to different audiences. But I find these ones kind of will apply to most people. And if you're not sure on any of this at all, by the way, feel free to leave a comment down below. So most people, I imagine watching this video then, will be selling products up to about $50. So what I would recommend then is if you are selling a product up to $50, it, when you get to the point of spending $50 on one particular ad set and you haven't seen a single sale, then I would recommend switching the ad set off and just going through the numbers and seeing what's happening. Now, never, ever, ever delete an ad set, just switch it off. And then when you run your next ad set and say spend $50 as well, if you've got zero sales on both of them, then look at the numbers and see which one performed best. And then you know which ad set to go more kind of along the lines of so if you have two separate ad sets both spent fifty dollars this one got zero sales and this one got zero sales but then the click-through rate and the cost per click were cheaper um, and your relevance score and your cpm was cheaper your relevance score was higher then you know that you want to go more kind of along the lines of this ad set if that makes sense so never delete an ad set so you can always compare them against each other and if you're selling a product up to fifty dollars and you get to the point where you've spent fifty dollars on that one particular ad set and not made any sales and switch it off. And the final point then that I wanna go through with you guys is that once you've run then say two or three ad sets and you spent the equal amount of budget on each now, it's important that you spend the equal amount on budget on each and therefore, therefore you're gonna have, it's gonna be equal, this, each ad set is gonna have its fair chance. For example, if you spend $10 on one ad set and $100 on another ad set, that's not fair, it's not the same amount of data, it's not gonna be even, you're not gonna have the mean amount of data to compare. So once you've got say two or three ad sets, if all three haven't performed well and brought in zero amount of sales, then look at the numbers and there's kind of some key numbers that you wanna compare against your three. And these are your relevant scores, your cost per click, your CPM and your add to cart. Look at those four specific numbers, export your numbers into an Excel spreadsheet. So you've got all four ad sets kind of listed one on top of each other. And then you can look at which one performed the best. You can look at the ad copy you used, and then you can go deeper within the ad set as well. So go through the breakdowns, look at the age ranges that performed the highest, and again, compare those against. And then you can kind of build up a bigger picture of who that kind of specific and focused audience is that's gonna buy your product or is most interested in your product to show your ad to more people like that. And then that puts you on the right track then to being successful finding that right audience and making those sales ultimately it kind of goes back to that point of facebook requiring that upfront investment in which you need to spend that kind of say maybe 100 150 dollars testing some different audiences so you can compare them against each other and find kind of like the needle in the haystack if you like so that being said then guys that's all the points on my phone that i've gone through hopefully i've given you guys some it's kind of like some better guidelines to work against and hopefully the idea of this video then is I don't want you guys to get disheartened when you haven't made sales in your first day or even your first week. Facebook is definitely a marathon, not a sprint. Just take your time, start slowly. Every time you spend money, make sure you're looking at the numbers. Like I said, make sure you compare them, have something to compare them against as well. If you only have one ad set, then how the hell are you gonna know if that's performed well or not? You need something to compare it against. So you need to compare at least three different audiences. Um, and once you do that, then it, the whole process just becomes easier. So that being said, thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, all I ask is please do leave a like um, and leave a comment down below as well. Let me know what you thought of this video um, and I'll see you all guys in the next one.